Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. So in the first Celery tutorial, we got started by building an application. We created a very simple Celery instance within Django and then we built a task just to add a few numbers together. So now we have a look at how to actually implement Celery in a working application. So here we're going to develop a simple application to send emails with Django and Celery. So we go through this step by step, first creating a view and a form, and then we go ahead and build a new Celery task. So in this tutorial, we're going to configure an email server using the Gmail configuration. So this is just going to be utilizing the Django built-in SMTP email backend. Of course, you can configure Celery for other email backends. As per normal, there is a a timeline in the description so you can skip ahead to different sections that you're interested in. Okay, so this is a workflow. In the previous tutorial, we did set up RabbitMQ, so we're going to be utilizing the RabbitMQ broker for this tutorial. So here we've got a situation where we had the client. The client is going to fill in the form on the web page and send a post request to Django. So Django is going to enqueue a new task to the RabbitMQ broker. And at that point, the worker, in this case, Celery, will pick up the task, monitor the progress, and actually then send the email. There's a link to the code in the description, so you can download and start from where I'm starting in this tutorial. So let's go ahead now and just uh, create a new app. We're gonna call this task two. Just go ahead and add that to the settings file. So we'll start off, let's just build a new form so that users can type something in. Okay, so there's no hidden surprises here. This is just a simple form from Django Input Forms. So you can see here that we're going to just capture the name and email and also their review. So we're going to ask clients to or users to write reviews. Once the user has written a review and press send, we're then going to have Celery deal with the emailing, confirming that they've sent a review. So you can see we've used some labels here, etc. So these are just bootstrap classes that we're going to utilize just to add some styling to this application. So there's nothing special here that's actually related to Celery, just some simple forms and fields. Okay, so let's just build up the view. So inside task one, views, or should that be task two? In actual fact. Okay, I just noticed I put the forms in task one and not task two. So I've just moved across to task two. So now we can go ahead and in task two, remember we're working from task two folder, the views. So let's just build a simple view for this. So we're going to need to import the form into this view and then go ahead. We're using class based views here. So we're going to be utilizing the form view. So you just import that in. And then also when the user finishes the form and submits, we just send a simple HTTP response to them saying, thank you for submitting the form. So now we can go ahead and create a new method or class or view. So we're going to call that review email view. We're using the form view, class based views. So we define the template. So we're going to make a new template for this page called review.html and then we're going to use the form class review form. So that matches that. So that's the actual form that we're using. And then we go ahead and check and validate the form. So if the form is valid, then we're going to run this method here, a uh, send email. So we're going to build it up next. And then we just create a message so we can send back a message to the user and then we just return the HTTP response and the message that we've just created. But the important thing here is if you're following this is this here. We're going to call this method here and that's the next part of this process. Okay, so yes, the next step then is to deal with this method here. So to run and then connect to Celery. So let's go ahead now back into the forms. At the bottom here, we just run a new method here. 
So remember we called the send email. So now we need to do something. What we're going to do now is send this task to Celery to run. That's essentially what's happening now. So if we go back to the flow I showed you earlier, so far we've created the, the form. The client fills in the form and submits via post to Django. So then Django manages that. So we validated the form and now we need to send a message or create a task so that we can have Celery perform the action, which is going to be send an email. So let's now follow this method here, send email. Let's go back into forms. So we want to create a new method here, um, send email. And now we want to actually send a message or yeah, send a task message so that we can get the task complete. So we do that by adding the dot delay in this case. So remember that's a shortcut to send a task message. We also want to use the data that the user has typed into the form. So we capture that from the clean data. So the name, email and review. So what we have now is a reference to the actual task we want to run. So this is going to be the actual task name. So now we need to go ahead and just create a new file. We're going to call this tasks. So this is going to create or define a task for Celery to run. So let's go ahead and first of all, from the Celery decorators, import task. So now we set up the task. We give it a name of send review email task, which correlates to the form. So I have changed that now. It did say, did say feedback, I think. So I've changed that to send review email task. So that correlates to that right there. Okay, so before we actually instruct Celery what the task is, let's actually first of all build up the email configuration. So go ahead and create a, a new file called email. So in here we're just going to specify the details of the email, build up the email and prepare it so it can then be sent off. So let's just import some dependencies in. So we're going to need the context uh, render to string, email message, and the settings. So let's now take in all the information from the form. So the name, email, and review. Remember, this is all being passed over from the form. We've cleaned or we've captured the data from the clean data, the name, email, and review. So we now go ahead and create a context for the data. So context is a dictionary with variable names as the key and their values as the value. So this just helps us then utilize this data in other parts of our application here. So let's just build a context. So we're just taking out the name, email and review. So now we can start to build up our actual email. So if you read the Django docu documentation, there's a workflow here for creating an email. So first of all, we take in the email subject. So we're just going to manually type that in. Thank you for your review. Okay, so now we define the email body or the text in the body of the email. So we're going to render the string here. So we're going to create a new file called email message text and we're going to pass the context data into there so that we can use that data inside of this text file. So go ahead and create a new file. This file is going to need to be in the templates folder. So we can put that in the templates folder. Should be able to move that in. Yep. Okay, so that needs to be in there. So now in this email message text, we can bring in the context and just build up the, the body of our email. So here we're going to utilize the context data. So the name, and then the review data. So hello and the name of the person. Here's a copy of your review. Thank you. Okay, so now we need to bring all that data together. So we create this new variable here, email, and it's gonna have an email message. So all the data in there. So we need, first of all, the email subject, the email body. So we place that inside of there. And then we utilize the default from email and then the actual email of the person we want to send the email to. So this format here is from the Django documentation. This is the order of play for sending an email. 
So we're just going to go in the settings now and just set up the default from email. So that's just simply done by going to the settings, put it at the bottom here. We've got the default from email and it's right here. So we're just going to use this uh, fake email for now. So veryacademydemo at gmail.com. So we now just finished this file by including the return. So email.send and then we just set up some error configuration here. So with that done, we can now turn our attention back to the tasks file. So we want to obviously import that now in the email. We're going to need to utilize that to actually send the email. So in the first tutorial, we saw that we can see the results of the tasks inside of the Celery interface. So what we can do also is send messages back to that interface um, by utilizing the get task logger. So what we do is just set up this uh, logger so that when the task runs, we can just uh, output a message. So here we're going to send a message um, that just says, for example, sent review email. So we're going to run the task and at some point, we're going to uh, send a message uh, to or have salary output a message here, sent review email. So what we're going to do now is now set up our function here. So we're going to call this send review email task. We're going to take in the name email and review. So we're then going to, like I said, if successful, we're going to log the fact that the task was successful and on the screen it should print out sent review email. And then we finish off by just firing off the, the email. So we're returning the send review email, which is um, within our emails file. It actually configures and creates the email and so on. And we're passing the name, email and review into that. So that we can see this code in action, I've just created a new Gmail email and we want to use this to send email. So what we can do, if you go to manage your Google account and you need to go to security, you need to first of all set up two steps verification. And then you've got this um, second step you can now set up. So if you click on this here and just reconfirm your, your password, you can now set up a a new password which can be utilized for applications such as this. So for example, um, I select custom, I type in a custom name, press generate, that's going to generate this key here or this password. So I'm going to need to utilize that password in my settings. So now I can configure Django with an email client. So Let's go ahead and go into the core settings and you can see that I've already passed in the details here, except for the host password. So the password we just generated there, we're going to use it right there. So you can see here, this is um, going to set up the email backend and we're going to use Gmail here. Um, the, the host user is going to be veryacademydemo at gmail.com. The default from email is the same, port 587 and TLS true. So this is a configuration in 2020 that you can utilize with Gmail to set up a basic um, email service within Django. So let's just go ahead and finish this up by creating some templates. So first of all, we want a, a base template. So here we just copied and pasted a bootstrap template. We're going to be utilizing blocks here um, to this is going to be extended or other templates are going to be extended from this. So we use block contents to do that. So that's the uh, base apologies in place. And then we go ahead and just create our review HTML page. So this has just got some we're extending from base. So we're just going to change the title and then the content. We've just got some styling here and you can see that I'm using the form that we've created earlier. So there's nothing else special here. Um, this is just a, a bootstrap implementation of our form. Okay, so now we've got that in place, we now need to create a URL for this. So in the core, we'll just go ahead and build that. So 
what we've done here is we've created a, a path here to uh, reviews. So we're going to be utilizing the reviews page for this form. Here we're going to connect it to our view in task two. So we, Im we import that in and then we can utilize it right here. So this just connects to our view in task two using the import. Okay, so now we've got that all hooked up, we can now start this server. Oh, spell that right. And everything seems to be working okay, so now let's test this out. So we're going to need to start up uh, both services, so both Celery and also our message broker. Now, if you go into the commands.txt, I've added and I will keep adding to this uh, interesting and useful commands that we've utilized. So I've installed, and I'm using Windows here, uh, I've installed RabbitMQ on Windows. So this is where I'm going to find the actual program that you need to run to start RabbitMQ. So I start up uh, the message broker, RabbitMQ, and that's all ready to go. So that's the first step. Head over to the first tutorial if you need help installing on Linux or Windows. So the next thing we need to do is start the Celery application or a Celery instance. So if you go into the core Celery file, you can see that our Celery instance is called core. So heading back to the commands, you can see that we're going to run this in this manner. So we're using Windows here, so we've got this additional prefix of dash dash pull solo. So let's just go ahead and run this in the terminal. So we'll just create a new terminal for this. So there seems to be a problem. So no module name task to emails. So that's just a little typo here. So from email, not emails, in the taskpy form, uh, taskpy file, we just need to change that. So let's just run the command again. And there we go. So you can see here that Celery's found the tasks. So we have task one from the previous tutorial. We have the uh, send review email. Okay, so head over to the, the correct URL. So in this case, the local host and then reviews, obviously turn the server on. So here we go. So let's start off with uh, Barry. So type in an email address, demo gmail.com and then just test review and then press submit. So here we're receiving an error. So name send review email task is not defined. The problem here is that if you go into the forms, you'll see that we haven't actually imported this in. So we just need to do that. So from task two tasks, so from the task two app tasks, we just need to import that in. So that's easily done. So let's just try this again. So you press submit, we get the HTTP response. Thanks for the review. Okay, so now let's go back in and have a look at the console here, see what's happened. And you can see here that we've um, we've got a task. Um, down here we've got a task and it succeeded. So it looks like it possibly worked. So let's go back into our browser. So we should have received an email. And there we go. Thank you for your review. So we've now re received the email and this has been sent via Celery. Okay, so here we have a simple example of using Django and Celery integrating these technologies within Django to hand off tasks via the broker to Celery and in this case to send an email.